Hello everyone, it is Swimplays here, back to another video, I hope you guys are doing great, it's just been a bit, we recently left off with the um, display names. Now, I hope you guys are doing great, uh, today of course we're going to be doing the Sword Fight Arena. Now, before I start this video, I'd like to say I did not actually do this from scratch, I got help by another YouTuber, you can actually go check him um, out in the scripts, I'll show you where the video is at. Um, now, I recently started from scratch doing it with like a bunch of events and like some things and I was just like, man, okay, I I need some help on this because I actually don't really know how to do this correctly and um, then I kind of got some help and I realized oh he has a great video on um, doing this he has it perfectly so go check him out guys um, I might put his YouTube in the description but um, he also had a great way of doing this where you can uh, get a tool from the player's touch and then uh, the tool will replace all the guys' uh, tools in the inventory so it's not like um, very messy you know it's just one tool um, but yeah, so I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Please kick, click the subscribe notification. Um, it is in the description. We do have about 95% of you guys are not subscribed, so that kind of sucks. Um, but um, yeah, click that post notification. Also, join the Discord. It is in the description. It means so much for you guys to so do that while you're at that. But um, yeah, so um, let's talk about this. Now, you're going to go in the description, look for models, and it should say Sword Fight Zone. Or just you know model you're gonna click it and it will grab you to this now we have no zealous at the moment because I did just make this um, but you get to grab this and it should say item owned you just click it right here basically then you own it now basically what you're going to do is um, go to your work go to your studio go to toolbox it should be the first one up here actually like me so it will be right there inventory and then you're actually gonna grab this and it, when you click on that, what it's going to do is it's going to spawn it in workspace. So, um, basically, inside this, we have a few things. We have replicated server scripts, starter character scripts, and workspace. Now, we're going to ungroup these. So, we're going to grab the sword fight zone right here. Now, you don't need to um, you can ungroup, do whatever you want to do. So, let's go to starter character scripts, starter player, starter character, and then click uh, ungroup. There we go. And then I'll just close server storage. We go to server script service. Um, so, I should just do that the normal way. And you can go ungroup, and then we're gonna go to replicated storage, and then we're we'll click on group. There we go. Now we can just delete that folder, and here we are. So basics we have. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five things. Now, of course, you're like looking at this. Oh wow, this is a big box. Um, of course it is. So this is basically the sword fight arena, and what's gonna happen is when a player enters this box. Um, it is going to give them a sword, and then when they leave the box, it's going to delete their sword. So, um, I'm going to show you the workspace and how you can change these things around. But um, inside here is just the sword fight zone. It's just a model. Um, and you can basically grab this box and turn the transparency all the way on, so they won't see that box. But I have it all the way off. I mean, like, at, like, 0.75, so we can see what we're entering and leaving. But um, you can change this all you'd like. Do whatever you want, guys. You know, like, for you can literally do anything. You know, 3D text. Uh, delete this if you want or you can just change the colors of this so maybe I want blue you know let's do that um, so I just did a little thing for you so if you want to like it keep it or not um, so what we're doing is basically like I said if the player has a tool um, or if they don't and they enter the box it's gonna give them the sword now um, there's a few ways we did this and I'm gonna show you how and I had a few ways I wanted to do it but I checked out his YouTube and I was like wait a minute He's pretty smart about this, so I'm going to go away his route. Um, now, I'm going to grab a tool and show you what exactly happens. Um, so let's just grab a uh, sword, another sword, and we're actually going to put this in starter pack. Okay, we're going to put that in starter pack. So we're going to hit play here. I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Now, guys, like I said, I wanted to do this from scratch, and I actually started it. I wanted to do death event, uh, touch event, leave event. But then I was like, you know, maybe that's just too much. Maybe he's got a better way. So, of course, we have a sword right here. Now, let's say I have this sword and I see it's in my inventory. What happens when I step in it? Oh, there we go. It equips the tool automatically, gives me the sword, and then, boop, I have the sword back. So let's say I equip it, boop, like this. So it's like basically just giving me a sword and then it's removing it and then getting back to my old tools. So... And that I'm making sure it won't cause a problem to the sword, the saving with the tools, because what happens is it still deletes it. So we're going to show you how this works. Um, we already did workspace, so I'm going to close. It. Actually, I'm going to keep that open. But we're going to talk about replicated after this. Um, so delete that. Um, 
Inside is just the Roblox sword. Don't worry about it. No wrong scripts. No nothing. You can delete thumbnail cam if you want. Um, but pretty easy you don't need to worry about anything um the tool event this is the event that we're firing when the player enters and leaves um so you know what? let's just open both scripts now like i said guys you can check out his youtube channel video right here i gave credit to him and everything um but basically how this works is we have a local script and a uh, server script now for the local script we have uh the part where we're going to fire it to the server and then for the server side script we're going to get that server and we're basically going to remove the tools add the tools all that kind of jazz so for tool event um this is a local script is going to be in starter character scripts this is so when the humanoid root part um touches when a player touches the part and then when they leave which is touch ended we're going to do a few things so when the player touches um we basically are going to check if they're in descent of uh, main or which main was this part right here so we're gonna go with areas which areas was this sword fight zone and then we're doing main and then touching equals nil so if they are not touch if they are touching then touching is gonna be the new part that they're touching and then if got sword equals false which it is because they don't have a sword local item equals replicated storage wait for child weapon name and then what we're doing is we're grabbing that item and we're firing the server and we're saying it was stepped on for the value was stepped on and then we're giving they were sending that item up there which was sword and then got sword is true and then what we're doing on touch ended which is when they leave we're basically creating a for loop and we're checking if they did the exact same thing up here and um, we're creating a new item um, item two and we're gonna do player dot backpack find first child weapon name so if item one or item two so if the item is in their inventory then we're firing that same thing again stepped off and we're firing item one and item two or both of them, one over one. Uh, touching goes nil and got sword equals false. Then we're resetting that so it just keeps going and they can do touched and touch ended. Um, and little thing right here, so you got got sword equals false. Don't touch anything from uh, 10 to 21 or 27 to 51. Just touch this right here. So if you do have a new sword that you want to import, but I mean, normally people don't, um, you just change the name so we could say uh, classic sword or something else. Basically, what we're doing is we're getting the name of this right here in replicated storage. So don't really about change that. So we can close that. And now we're talking about the server side script. Um, this is where we get the events and everything. So replicated storage, server storage, touch event, all that jazz. So we're creating that local for the event. And we're basically grabbing that uh, tool event right here. And on player added, we're creating a new folder. Okay, this is where we're doing that whole add tools to them part. Um, we're creating that new folder and the, it's going to be called whatever S tools. Um, this is what he put down actually. Um, and the parent is going to be game replicated storage. So local function fire remote. This is going to be a local function that will be fired in a bit here. Now right here, touch event on server event, which will be when this gets fired from the local script, will fire the remote, which will basically fire this new this local function, which I had in mind I was gonna do local death event. And why are you guys wondering why would I do a death event? I was planning on doing the death event because sometimes people have it where you spawn at that spawn location right by the arena so they could just go back and fight. But then I was like, wait, maybe I shouldn't do that. So there's this right here and then game dot player start removing. Um basically if replicated storage uh that folder we're going to destroy that folder right on the when they were to move um so let's talk about this local fire remote so now you remember how i said there's that stepped on stepped off value what we're doing is what he told me and you know what i was like wow okay this is pretty smart i never thought about this um we're doing three parameters player value and item now if value equals stepped on so if they stepped on or else if um the value equals stepped off which we'll debate right here so this is where we're going to fire both of them, but either way, we're firing a new value, so stepped on, stepped off. Um, we're going to debate which one it was. So when they fire this remote, we're going to debate which one it was. Okay, so let's say the player entered. So that's stepped on. We're grabbing their character, and we're going to grab their tool, which is going to, um, we're going to grab their tool and their folder and everything like that. And then we're going to do the same thing again, um, but we're going to be putting that inside of the folder and all that kind of jazz. We're going to be putting the tools inside that folder. So that's where it's like right here, v.parent and all that kind of jazz and then local new weapon is that item that we just like this sword clone and then a new parent is going to be the player's backpack and then character dot humanoid equip tool new weapon so we're going to be equipping that sword on stepped on event okay now if they stepped off 
then we're going to find that item, get the children, that uh, backpack, and literally everything. And we're going to be deleting that sword. Uh, that should be right here if I'm right. Deleting that sword. And then, no, no, backpack. Um, deleting that sword. And then we're going to be putting tool.parent equals player backpack, which is going to be the tools that were in replicated storage from the original player into back to their backpack. So we're basically deleting everything and then putting their original items back into their backpack. So I hope that kind of makes sense. Um, I don't, for beginner programmers and scripters, I know you guys are probably like, okay, this didn't make jack shit sense. <laughs> so I want you guys to realize it's okay. Um, for loops are really hard and I actually had struggles with them in my Java and C Sharp, all that kind of jazz. But um, thank you to this one guy who helped out because I actually didn't want to want to write all this code. Um, and he did a, another great way of doing this that I was probably not going to approach. Um, but I hope you understood what I mean by services, locals, functions, um, player added. I hope you guys already understand that. We talked about this many times in player removing. Um, but of course, guys, um, f f uh, events, you just have to search up on the internet and you'll figure it out. But um, yeah, you guys, thank you so much. Um, that should be it. Just make sure you ungroup everything in the right places. You don't even need to worry about changing the tools or anything. Um, that's your choice, but um, yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. Please comment like subscribe and share and I will see you guys in the next one